What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can test the REST APIs in your Visual Studio Code Editor. So first of all, you have to open your Visual Studio Code Editor. Then on the left hand side, you will be getting an option to enable some extensions. So here you have to search Thunder Client. So this is the extension name which you will have to install because this is li lightweight. So you should click on this first result and here you will be getting some details, some features and all. So you should go through if you want and then you have to click on install button. So once you are clicking on install, then it would be installed and let's close these options from here and you will find out that on the left hand side, we will be getting an icon here. So once you are clicking on this icon, then we will have the option to send the request. So you can see here we have a new request button. So you should click over it and you will be getting a dashboard here in which you can uh, mention that specific API URL here and then you should click on send button and then it would give you some response headers cookies and all. So let's test one API. So let me go to the Google and here I am writing dummy API. So once you are clicking on this one this first result and these are actually the fake api's which you can use for the testing purpose only so for example i have scroll it down and here we have some resources let me click on posts and then you can see that we have this api this is working api so let me copy this uh, url from here and i'm going to paste it on this input box and make sure that this uh, request method should be get then you should click on this send button and on the right hand side you will be getting the response data so you can see here we have the response like user id id title body so all the records are here and here we have also the status of 200 okay size time and we have headers cookies test results and all so you can also if you have any other api if you want you can also uh, use this auth uh, putting the username password if you have bearer token then you can also mention that token here if you have any header to set then you can also add that header you can also uh, cancel this one from here if you want for example accept then in most of the cases we deal with application json so this is the way to add the HTTP headers and if you want any parameter to add in the body so you should click on the body and here you can mention that specific uh, parameter if you want you can also uh, change the format into the JSON XML form and anything you want all right so this is quite simple if you are interested to use you should use I recommend you to use why because this is lightweight in most of the cases we use postman so the postman is little heavier so uh, our system uh, becomes slower all right so this is one of the best thing which we have right now if we are installing the is installing this this is quite lightweight and we are easier to do the testing related to our apis all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel like and subscribe this so see you in the next video